Hey there coaches, it's Kim Danger here coming to you just a day after I left Nashville. Summit 2016 was awesome and if you were there, you know how fantastic it was. So I wanted to give you guys, the coaches that were there, a few takeaways and how to make sense of this entire Summit experience because if you're like me, your head is swimming with ideas, you're pumped up, you're motivated. I don't want to, I don't want you guys to let that go to waste. I don't want it to be get back into daily life and forget how to put this stuff into action. So I know we're all overwhelmed, we're pumped up, so what do we do next? What I want you to do is sit down with a notebook, if that's what you do, if you want to type your list, that's fine too, whatever works for you. I want you to come up with a to-do list. I'm sure you walked away with plenty of notes from the sessions, from the general section, sessions, um, conversations with coaches, your head is swimming with, with ideas, like I said. Write everything down before you forget. Try to use your memory, like just try to jog your memory, maybe go back in your pictures and try to remember your takeaways from the people that you spoke to. Come up with a to-do list of things to do. Like for me, my examples, I got a lot from Gary Vaynerchuk. I know that I need to utilize Snapchat more. I need to start boosting my Facebook ads a little bit more. Maybe for you, maybe it's creating that first like page. Maybe it is um, learning how to brand yourself. I don't know what your takeaways were. They're going to be different for everybody, but I want you to come up with a list. Otherwise, those things are going to be gone. You will forget about them. So while they're still fresh in your mind, come up with a to-do list. The next thing I want you to do is to prioritize that to-do list. And for a lot of you, that is going to mean taking the top 20%. You know, if you go with the Pareto principle, you know that 20% of your actions result in 80% of your results. So what are the 20% of the things on your to-do list that will propel your business forward the fastest? That's what I want you to highlight and star or check whatever circle. Those are the things I want you to start working on first, okay? And then next, I really want you to visualize where you want to be first at the end of the year, and secondly, by next summit. Last year was my first summit, you guys. I was there as a diamond coach. I had been coaching just a little bit over a year. When I was sitting up in those stands, I told everybody around me, I'm going to be walking on stage next year. And I knew that within my heart. I knew without a shadow of a doubt I was going to make that happen. And I did, and I got to walk on stage this year. So this year, I challenged myself, what is my big, scary goal for next year? If it's not big enough to scare you, it is not big enough, you guys. What is your goal? And then I want you to tell somebody about it. If you're on my team, I want you to comment below in this post and let me know what your big scary goal is because if we don't hold ourselves accountable, if we don't name it, we're not going to claim it. And I will tell you, my big scary goal for next year, for next summit, is to be recognized as a 15-star diamond. I'm telling you that. And right now, I have no idea how it's going to happen. No idea. I don't have enough diamonds lined up to even make that a possibility at this point. But you know what? If I put in the hard work, if I visualize myself there, if I work on personal development, I know that it's a possibility. And that kind of brings me to my next point here. What do you have to do to get yourself to be the level that you want to achieve? I don't have all of the habits of a 15-star coach yet. But I know what I need to do. I know I need to be recruiting more. I need. I know I need to work on confidence. I need to work on refining my systems. So I want you to visualize not only where you want to be, but the type of person you will have to become to get there. Because that is why we at Beachbody focus on working on ourselves. Because your business won't grow if you do. So you have to grow yourself to the point where you fit that role. It just doesn't happen without the hard work and the personal development, you guys. And secondly, I guess that's thirdly, I want you to work on your I Made Summit Happen post. If you guys were in the sessions, um, you know that I can't even remember which, which speakers mentioned this. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, I want you to recognize the people that made Summit happen for you. Put your heart and soul into this. What what did it take to make Summit happen for you? Was it breaking out of your comfort zone? Maybe it was like hustling to find childcare for your children. Maybe it was convincing your spouse that it was a worthwhile endeavor. I want you to thank those people. I want you to feel that gratitude. And I want you to do a post about that and comment, add that link to the comment section below too. And for my team of coaches, 
I want you to know that we are going to be doing a summit wrap-up call tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Oh, excuse me, Wednesday night at 9 p.m. And I'll be posting the link here too in our YouTube channel if you want to join us. This is for anyone, anyone that wants to be a perspective, wants to be a coach on our team, anyone that just wants to learn more about the coaching opportunity or hear about the great takeaways that we had from Summit. I want you to join this call. Um, if you're a coach and you'd like to speak on this call, please contact me. I'm going to be looking for some coaches just to speak three to five minutes um, during that hour and just you know communicate how awesome Summit was for you, what your takeaways were, and what you hope to accomplish with your Summit experience. So with that, thanks for listening, and I'm already looking forward to a great Summit 2017.